11.3. Add and subtract rational expressions. Add and subtract with common denominator. When adding and subtracting rational expressions, we add the numerators. And we keep the denominators. Just like when adding fractions. When subtracting, we will first distribute the negative. And then don't forget to reduce by factoring at the end. Okay, in our first example we already have a common denominator, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to factor that denominator and I'm just going to write it down. Okay, only one way of factoring, x squared. 15, we're going to have a negative 5 and a positive 3 for that. And there's our, t our denominator. And we just write the top all over 1. It makes it easier and less to write. So now we're going to combine like terms up top. So we have x squared plus 4x. Oh, whoops. Our 4x plus our x, which gives us 5x, plus 6. Now we want to look and see if we can reduce, and we're going to do that by factoring the top now. Only one way of factoring x, and it looks like we're adding our factors of 6, so we'll have a positive 2, a positive 3, all over x minus 5, x plus 3. We're looking for our common factors, which this so happens to be our x plus 3, leaving us with a final answer of x plus 2 all over x minus 5. In our second example here, I want you to notice this negative here. With that negative, we need to distribute it through to here. Okay, so what we have on top is we have x squared plus 2x minus 6x minus 5. I recommend that you take the time to write this out so that you don't miss anything. Okay, now I'm going to write our denominator in a factored form. So only one way of factoring 2x squared, only one way of factoring 5, and looks like we're taking the difference, so I want to make our put our 5 there and our 1 there, and it looks like we need a negative, so we're going to make a negative 10x plus 1 gives me a negative 9x. Now let's look at our top here. We now have x squared minus 4x minus 5. With combining like terms, now let's factor it. Well, only one way of factoring x, and only one way of factoring our 5. And it looks like we need to have a negative 5 and a positive 1. And that's going to be all over. 2x plus 1 times x minus 5. We're looking for the common factors, which looks like it's going to be x minus 5, leaving, with us, with, leaving us with an answer of x plus 1 all over 2x plus 1. And we're done.